Bring in Bernie Sanders, Senator from Vermont, Independent Caucuses with the Democrats. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. Your reaction to the Republicans killing the minimum wage bill yesterday? Because, Senator, is this a big benchmark? I mean, this is their final line in the sand. We're not going anywhere on this issue. Well, I think the remarks that you played from Coburn and others says it all. Uh, these guys not only do not want to raise the minimum wage to all of $10.10 an hour, giving 28 million Americans a increase in, in their wages, they want to abolish the concept of the minimum wage. This is the Koch brothers' vision of America. Ed, if you are a worker in a high unemployment area, if I say to you, Ed, I'm prepared to hire you, but I'm going to pay you three bucks an hour, and you say, I can't live on that. And I say, there are 10 other workers prepared to take it. That is their definition of freedom. But it's not only yep. the minimum wage. They're Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid. If you are old and sick, you don't want the government interfering with the free market. What do you want? You want to get rid of Medicare as we know it. Cut Medicaid. Leave people out there to what? To die, to starve. That is their radical vision of the future of America. So that vulture chart, which I am trying to make famous, I think if every voter in this country sees this chart and, and thinks by this chart and realizes that these are absolute, these are hard numbers, Senator, it's going to get worse, isn't it, if the Republicans have their way? Uh, are you kidding? Look, this is what their agenda is about. It is more tax breaks for millionaires and billionaires and large corporations it is undoing virtually every piece of legislation passed in 80 years to protect the middle class and working families. When you talk about the minimum wage, Ed, understand that you've got companies like Walmart owned by the wealthiest family in America. The Walton family alone owns more wealth than the bottom 40 percent of the American people. They pay starvation wages. Their workers have to go on food stamps and have to go on Medicaid. We subsidize Walmart. And maybe if we raised the minimum wage, that wouldn't be the case. No, these guys, the Koch brothers and these other folks, they're at war against the middle class of this country. We've got to stand together and defeat them. We have got 42 members in the United States Senate that are just as radical as the Tea Partiers over in the House. How else do you read that vote? All this talk about the House being so radical, wait a second, there's a bunch of them in the Senate, too. This is their ideological push. So what can the progressives, the Democrats, those 54 who voted for, what's their course of action, Senator? Well, their course of action is to educate and organize the American people. And the projection is that in the next election, November 2014, 60 percent of the American people aren't going to vote. And what the Republicans hope and pray is that voter turnout is low. And what our job is to expose the Republicans for what they are, that they work for the Koch brothers, they work for the wealthy and the powerful, they're at war against working families. And our job has got to be to educate, get these folks out to the polls. If we go from 40 percent to 50 percent in voter turnout, which is not a very high number, I think the Democrats can recapture the House and certainly the Republicans will not win the Senate. And finally, one point that I want you to make, Senator, for our audience. We keep hearing Republicans say that a minimum wage hike would kill jobs. What's Senator Sanders from Vermont? What is your response to that? Well, many states in this country, including my state of Vermont, have a minimum wage. I think our minimum wage is somewhere around $8.70 an hour. And we have one of the lowest unemployment rates in the United States of America. It is not true. There have been studies that have shown that states which have high minimum wage not only do not lose jobs, but they gain jobs because people at the bottom have more uh, expendable incomes, but more income to spend, and in turn they create jobs. Yeah. Senator Sanders, good to have you with us tonight. Keep up the fight. Thanks so much. I appreciate your time. Remember to answer tonight's question there at the bottom of the screen. Share your thoughts with us on Twitter at Ed Show and on Facebook. We want to know what you think on this issue. Coming up, I've got a challenge for Republican governors opposing Obamacare. Former governors Howard Dean and Brian Schweitzer join me on the Rapid Response Panel coming up. But first, Senate Democrats.